Hello and welcome to another edition of the Get Growing Weekly Work Session with Get Oiling. I'm Coach Ashley, joined today by founder of Get Oiling, Greg Kilwine. Hello, everyone. We're really glad you're here today. Super are. We also have Julie from our team. What's up, Julie? Hi, everyone. <laughs> And we have a very special guest today, a member of the Get Oiling community is going to be sharing uh, some of her insights with us today. We have Jill Kearns. Hi, Jill. Oh, you're muted. Hi. There you go. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> so as you're coming in, uh, say hello. Let us know in the chat where you are. Uh, I'm not going through slides today. This is going to be a discussion. We're going to be talking with Jill about vendor events. Uh, so if you have never done a vendor event, or maybe you've done a couple and you didn't like how they went, or you do them, but you just want to know how you can do them better, all of you are going to love what Jill is going to share today. Uh, let's head over into the chat, see where everybody's coming in from. We've got Vermont and New York showing up. You guys don't be shy, head in, let us know where you are. Uh, you still got time as well. Send a friend to getoiling.com slash weekly work session. When they opt in, they're going to get the link that they can join right away and hop on this call. If you know somebody who would benefit from knowing how to start from scratch with vendor events and do a really great job and run vendor events with zero social media, I don't want to put too much ahead of, uh, of, of what Jill's going to share here. Go tell them and bring them right now. They need to see this. Okay. Uh, we are so excited. Oh, your mom is here. <laughs> <laughs> She's mom in the chat. <laughs> it was so nice to meet you at Aroma Sharing. What's up, Ohio, Michigan, Washington, New Jersey, Kansas, Austin, Minnesota, Houston, New York, mom's in Israel. <laughs> Good morning. We are so excited to have you all here today. So um, let's go ahead and, and just get into it, right? So uh, Jill, Tell us a little bit about you and your background with uh, with Young Living before we start getting into the, the vendor event stuff. Yeah. So um, when I first actually um, enrolled with Young Living, my mom is my sponsor. Hi, mom. Um, and uh, I got started and kind of didn't know the first thing about it. But um, one of the first things I did is I tapped into the leadership that was um, with our team and started learning through online um, classes. And I um, had this, you know, profound epiphany that like the toxins in my life were probably causing a lot of harm for me. Um, and <laughs> started swapping things out and didn't really realize what the difference was with, um, most essential oils and young living. And, um, and I was, I thought I was pretty healthy and, you know, had been kind of down that path for a little bit. Um, and, so I started seeing farmer's market signs around the town that we had just moved to six months before. And um, so this was, this was about seven years ago, by the way. Um, and I, so I was like, you know, I wonder if other people don't know about this. Um, Cause I thought I, I knew a fair amount. And if I didn't know, then maybe there's other people who don't know there's a farmer's market in my town and I don't really know anybody. Maybe that's a way that I can share it. And so I signed up for the farmer's market and um, set up a table and um, and that's pretty much how I've built since um, since that time. So um, and uh, I took a break uh, around 2020 to have a baby um, and then moved to Alabama and um, kind of had to relaunch this year. Um, and realized that some of the way that I had built prior to, um, could have been better had I been actually using all of the get oiling, um, solutions that are here for us for staying engaged with people and, um, you know, uh, reconnecting after meeting them at a vendor event or things like that. Um, having in events posted there, things like that, that, uh, really have refined that strategy and made it so much faster, so much easier, so much less back end work so that I can actually focus on connecting with people. And I really like the connecting with people part. So the in-person. Fantastic. So that's really where you get a lot of the joy out of sharing mm -hmm. young living then is really in that personal connection, right? Absolutely. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. So 
If you're here today and you are someone who is interested in creating more of that connection and getting more of that joy out of sharing, I think you're going to really love uh, what uh, what Jill's going to be sharing here on the call. I should note, I usually mention this at the very top. I was just so excited to get Jill talking. Uh, we do this live every single week. This is for all Young Living brand partners. You don't have to be a Get Oiling member to benefit from what we share on these calls. Although if you are a Get Oiling member, you will benefit doubly because we often share with you ways to use your system to work smarter. Uh, this is open to all of Team Young Living. We're live every Thursday at noon Eastern US time uh, and everyone is welcome here. Uh, and of course, this week, our goal here is to really encourage you to take a look at vendor events and really consider doing them. If you look at the history of Young Living, you know, going on three decades now, almost, uh, this is one of the tried and true original ways of sharing. And the original way is just like Jill was saying, that most fulfilling person to person way of sharing. Uh, so what I would love to maybe kind of get into first, Jill, is to maybe give people an idea of what an, a vendor event might be or look like if folks are unfamiliar and why it would be really important right now to like literally like as we are here today on the 10th of August of 2023, like why right now you should be looking at setting these up for yourself this year. Yeah. Um, so vendor events can be a lot of different things. So in the summertime, it looks like farmer's markets, um, festivals, things like that. Um, there's in the fall, there's fall festivals, there's school fundraisers, there's pop-up markets. Um, I just did one at a winery um, this past weekend that was really fun. Um, and that's a great place to do them. Uh, it could be a real estate. I've done real estate events where um, where it's more of a business-minded um, vendor event and you're, you're there, you're the only one there that's not, you know, like a mortgage broker or something like that. So you're the fun booth. Um, and all of those can be really, really, um, fun and successful. And, um, and it's a great way to get to know people in your community and, uh, and that sort of thing. So what was part two of the question? Yeah. Kind of so thought. right now, like why, why right, right now, now is the time. So yeah. the fall, yeah. Fall is huge. And when I'm saying that, I mean, like, Come about December the 20th, 21st, 22nd, they die off for a couple of months. And there's a contest right now. Um, and this is a fantastic way to get points and gather points in those contests. Um, so because what I would love to do is see you prepared to get started doing this as quickly as possible. So you can be saying yes to all these fall event events and and actually run with, um, yeah, talking to people in person. Yeah. Making friends. Yeah, absolutely. And I think it's important too, and this is something you and I chatted about uh, prior to the call, is that um, when you when you start thinking about, um, you know, back to school all the way through the holidays, this is a shopping time of year, right? This is yes. where people are kind of Very geared so. to, to actually be buying stuff. Uh, and so you've got more receptivity. Uh, and then of course, you know, once the holidays come and, and go, everybody's inside for a few months, right? Yep. So this is really a great time to start looking at getting things started. So um, one thing that I do wanna kind of shout out here, if you guys didn't know this, and this is part of the reason why we initiated this conversation and brought Jill on in the first place, Jill qualified for the Kona challenge. And I mean like the free vacation part of the Kona challenge, you guys. And she did this with absolutely zero social media, just doing vendor events. So let's get into it, Jill. Can we talk a little bit about like what getting started with vendor events looks like? And then maybe you can give a peek into what that's evolved into looking like for you. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I think probably this is the best time to show, do some show and tell. Sure. Um, and so let me, let me hop, make that actually happen. So, um, <laughs> Got to get the right screen. Sorry, guys. Okay. <laughs> Can you guys see that pretty well? Or you see, you see mm -hmm. like Ashley twice. Um, okay. So this was my, I think this was my very first vendor event. Um, you can tell there's some dated products in there. Uh, the starter kit looks different. Um, I have the diffuser that my kids used at the time. Um, and you can see like stuff on the table. And what I'll tell you is there wasn't a whole lot of display. I had done a tablecloth the one to the side is actually an upside down old tablecloth from a different vendor event that I did it had branding on the other side of it. So I used kind of what I had, the bungee cords that the sign in the back was on, 
came out of the garage. Um, you know, it was a bulletin board that I had and I printed and laminated some sheets and, um, and this worked for me for several, uh, several weeks, actually, probably longer than that. I think it might've been that whole first summer that I used the laminated sheets. Um, and I stuck them to the table with tape because they would fly away if I didn't. Um, the bulletin board thing didn't stay for long because it fell over and it was just a, a nightmare. I figured out other ways to showcase other things. Um, and then as I built more inventory, I started to um, replace those items with things that you know made more sense. So, um, so this was one of my first events, uh, back, you know, six or seven years or seven years ago now. Um, and I'll show you a little bit of a fast forward. So over time it grew, um, changed things out and see if I can actually get there. Um, this was one of my more recent ones. So, um, you can see that like I've built up more product that's available for people to walk away with that day. Um, you know, the oils are out instead of, uh, I had actually done drops in a, in a jar, uh, with like water beads and the water beads actually got moldy for all of them, but purification. So, um, <laughs> this is a life <laughs> lesson, but I went to, I'm just going to pull the bottles right out of my purse and stick them on the table. Um, and that actually has worked so much better. Um, and then I'll sh you, you, like the, but what you see here is that, um, this, the premium starter bundle is what I showcase in the middle. And that's kind of where the conversation starts. And then based on whatever they're saying, I can kind of guide towards, I'll talk about thieves and Ningxia, you know, if they're interested in a specific oil, there's, you know, there's things to smell over here, that sort of thing. But the, but the conversation is focused towards um, this premium starter bundle, um, you know, with the flyers and things like that. So um and then I'll, I'll do a little um, kind of focus in on some of these so you can see some of the uh, strategies and things like that that uh, that I've used. Um, so my bowling pin setup for Ningxia Red, I've actually uh, many times used empty bottles filled with red stuffing um, because it's a great use for empty bottles. Um, you don't have anything there to sell, but it gets the conversation going and gets people asking what is that stuff? So, um, or if you need to replace because people bought it actually at the event, that's a great thing to do is just have a few that are stuffed with red stuffing or the ones that, that I have right now with the red label, you don't even really need that. Um, <clears throat> this is something that I added. If you, if you notice, there's little QR code stickers on the top. Um, and basically what that works like is a, it's like a, um, a business card on every bottle of oil and every thieves cleaner bottle and things like that, that I, um, have. So whether it ends up in somebody else's hands because it was a gift or they don't, they don't remember where they got it from. And it was, you know, three or four or five years later that there's still a way to connect back. Um, so, uh, you know, I have little signs that, you know, don't open my stuff uh, <laughs> unless you're going to buy it, things like that. Um, signs about the, um, uh, the household cleaner and how much it does. Um, and then shall I go into the enter the wind form yet? Or should we come back to that? Uh, sure. Why not? We're getting a tour of the right. table, right? Yeah. So this is, um, this is a uh, visual, I am um, things you can see, uh, you can kind of see it over here to the left of the Ningxia red. There's actually one, um, right in the center as well. So as I'm wrapping up the conversation with somebody, if they didn't say yes to a starter bundle, then I'm going to invite them to win a prize from me or, um, you know, I know of other people who use this and they say, you know, you can, you can fill out this form and I'll give you like a free lip balm or, you know, some other goodie right now. Um, so you can use a strategy like that. Um, this is a physical sign and the QR code and the text um, incorporate directly into you uh, get oiling. And then I, I do have paper forms because I do find that a lot of people actually um, are more uh, willing to add, add their information pay by hand. Um, and then I just go and fill out the form on the website uh, after the fact too. That is so cool. So, so you guys have the tour. Tell us what you think about it, you guys in the chat. Uh, and and feel free as well if you have questions to head into the Q&A if you've got questions for Jill specifically. So when you got started, you, you shared with us some of what you were doing. You had the oils, the products that you had on hand that you could share. Uh, you used what you could. And you've kind of moved into this sort of 
optimal setup, right? Uh, and I think there's a really important thing uh, for, for folks to remember here uh, is because you, you did just say, and I think a lot of people have experienced this as well, that people are a little more open to just writing their information down and, and giving mm -hmm. that to you. And that's a lead. But while you're there, if there's downtime, you're just going over to the same page you would have sent them to on Get Oiling and just filling out their stuff and enter, entering them into the system, right? Yep. And adding in notes, I because I can do that. Mm -hmm. Like, I know what we talked about. Or if they bought something right then and there, um, you know, that way I can go back and follow up and go, hey, how are you liking the bottle of purification that you got? Um, do you want some recipes to use your thieves cleaner for that sort of thing? So yeah. Um, there's like tons of questions and I'm like, do I answer them all? Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, so there's, there's, there's so many, and there's only yeah. so much time today. Um, yeah. I think one of the most compelling things when you shared with me, your sort of end to end strategy was, uh, you have sort of a system that you follow. If somebody walks up to the table, you don't oh, yeah. just wait for them to say something. You actually have a process. Can you give us a little peek of what that looks like? What that looks like for sure. So, um, for starters, uh, I was, uh, you know, I was putting it together and, and thinking this through. And one of the things that I do is I smile like I'm on dance team. So if you know of anybody, it's this, right? So um, you, <laughs> it's contagious. Three of the four of you did it. Um, and Greg was looking the other way. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but But really, like if you're smiling and you're looking people in the eyes, they feel like you're approachable. And you don't even have to, you know, go out and like attack them or, you know, have this big catchy thing to say, you are the person that you just look approachable. They're going to, they're like, your product is curious. It is going to get people curious. And if you just look like somebody worth talking to, then they'll going to talk to you. So, and, um, you know, I've, uh, I've been to trainings before and they're like, it doesn't matter if your teeth are crooked. It doesn't matter any of that. Just smile at people. Our mirror neurons in our brain make us do the same thing. It's inevitable. And so then you, then they're going to come up to you. So, um, so that's first and foremost, just be on your game. Like everybody, like you're the greeting committee for the entire market. Um, like that, <laughs> that's your job. Um, and you know, Hey, have a great time today, you know, is amazing. Like they're, you're not asking them to look at your product as they're walking by your booth, but when they do come up, now you need a, you need a compelling, um, thing to say to them, to get them engaged in conversation with you. And, um, the, uh, the, the, the thing that I would say to people is, do you know much about essential oils? That's my question. Do you know much about essential oils? Because it just invites them to tell me more. Yes. No, I, you know, yeah, I use lavender for restful sleep, blah, blah, blah it gets the conversation going. Um, and then from there, I open the bottle of lavender and I stick it under their nose. So, <laughs> um, and when I do it, I need to find a bottle of oil. I just had one here. When I do it, this is, this is a life hack. Um, when you're, when you're at a class, when you're on with your leaders and they're talking through a starter bundle, you open your bottles and you smell them because what that does is it, locks in the information attached to the smell. Okay. And so, um, so if I open the bottle of lavender, I hand them the bottle and I put my nose underneath the lid. So I, now their mirror neurons are working, right. And they're going, they're sniffing and I'm sniffing. And while I'm doing this, I'm telling them stories about lavender and I'm telling them ways we love to use it and that it comes for internal use and things like that and just giving a little bit more information. And then when they're done, I put it back and I move on to the next oil and the next oil and the next oil. And um, there's a whole sequence to it. I start with all the, all the single oils and then I go through the blends and I talk through each of them. I love telling the thieves story. Um, and I actually was talking to another vendor just, uh, just yesterday. And it was so fun because she was across the, um, uh, like on the complete other side of this vendor event at the winery that we, that I did. And she had two people that came up and um, they were shopping in her market and things like that and telling each other the thief story. And she was like, she had been a member year, like probably before I was ever in, even enrolled. And she was like, 
wait, tell me that story because I don't, I've never heard this story. So if you're telling great stories, they're going to engage and connect with it. So, um, and, um, okay. So, um, yeah, so I'm, I'm putting it under their nose. I'm going through it. Um, I'll give you a hint. I end with valor. Um, <laughs> not going to share the whole thing, but valor, the reason I end with valor is I want them to have the courage to take the next step. Right. And so Lavender starts them out. It's familiar. They know what's going on. And then we're going to end with Valor so that they're ready to take the next step. And the sequence in between, you know, um, is engaging them and, and connecting to things that matter in their life all along the way, too. So, um, <clears throat> man, that is so powerful. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> so you're, you're walking them through that process. How are you transitioning then from they're smelling the oils to yeah. getting them started? Yeah. So, um, so I go, so the, um, you know, usually by the time that's over, a lot of times they're going, well, how much is this one? And how much is this one? And things like that. And, um, and I just, I go, so the best way to get started is, um, and then I show a flyer showing the starter bundle. Um, and the one, the one that's on that, uh, sheet right now, it actually has each pricing listed. Um, it tells the total value so they can go, Oh yeah, I, I love that valor. Also it's $60, but the whole kit's 165 and I have a diffuser to use it with and this other oils that I liked and felt like I needed and things like that. And they, you know, so, um, so I'm showing them the whole value of that. Um, and then any other freebies and things like that, that you would typically give as your, um, as your, you know, enrollment gifts, uh, you would tell them about those. Um, and then I say, and I actually have them here uh, because I do keep flip kits. Or I know people have asked about that. I do keep flip kits. I have it here. If you're ready to get started today, you can take it home with you. So, um, uh, and I talk about loyalty after they um, say yes to that. So, and it's just a, it's just a given that they're going to do it. So, um, but uh, they're, so yeah, then now it's like, oh, you mean I can actually take this all home with me today and get started and things like that. Um, you know, I'm going to tap them into resources for making, cause they're not going to remember all the 12 things that I, you know, all the stories that I told them about these 12 oils, they're going to forget 70, 93% of it, I think it is. So um, they're going to need something to reference back. Um, awesome. So when you are getting them started and there's a bunch of questions here about, you know, are you using flip kits? Are you selling retail stuff like that? So you have kits there yep. and you have, and I, I know we don't necessarily have time to go into every detail of the process, right. but you are taking payment there in a yes. lot of cases, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, so I have noticed, um, and I've actually gotten the chance to talk to Young Living about this, um, that the enrollment process works kind of, um, not as smoothly for flip kits at this point. So um, thankfully they're working on it and they're aware, yay. Uh, but in the meantime, what I do is I actually use a paper form um, and have them fill out the paper form. And it, the form has questions about, did you ever have a membership before? If you did, what's your password? Cause we're gonna need that, that sort of thing to help the, um, make sure that I have all the things that I need to, um, to get them enrolled uh, later. And then I have figured out what it costs to ship the, flip kit back to my house. Um, and I take payment. Um, I typically use square, um, but PayPal would work. Venmo works. Um, I actually, you know, I have QR codes for all of them. So I'm happy to take what I, cash is fine. Um, things like that. So, but something that I can confirm that, yes, I have the money to rebuy a flip kit no matter what. And then I, you know, then I go through the process of enrolling them after that. Fabulous. So you have a paper form that you use that you always use yep. and, um, and you are taking money there at the table and then you're going home and you're signing them up, but the kit that you're buying or whatever it is that you're buying, you're sending to you. And then you're yes. getting with, you're getting back with them then after that point to set up their loyalty order, for instance, right? Like that's, that's part of your follow-up. Um, so the, I actually say, I'm going to set your order up on loyalty. Um, and yeah, and so you're already going to be good to go. You're going to get some extra points for doing that and things like that. And then I'm going to call you and we're going to go ahead and set up what you need for next month. And it's going to be, you're going to, um, the Young Living's going to throw in another diffuser for you. Isn't that amazing? And so they're looking forward to my phone call because we're going to help decide what makes the most sense for their next order. And, um, and you know, like I'm doing something that's in their best interest, things like that. And it's still 
like uh like the commitment level is um is coming soon. <laughs> so they're saying yes, yep, cool, that sounds good. And I know you're gonna call me and we're gonna go through the next parts too. So fantastic. So that mm -hmm. uh that that um enrollment form that you use yeah. that's central to what you do, we're giving that away today, right? Yes, yeah. <laughs> Yes. Awesome. So. so we have a uh, we have a link. Uh, if uh, if we could get that into the chat, you guys, um, Jill is going to be, and we're going to be helping with this where Get Oiling comes into the picture. Uh, yeah. But Jill is launching a uh, a workshop, a boot camp uh, that will answer all of these questions in detail. And you guys, this has like. Jill, you made like a full spreadsheet with like the price you paid for everything, where you got your stuff from, the soup to nuts, everything is included. Uh, yeah. If you want to talk a little bit more about that, guys, make sure that you check out the link in the, the chat here and we'll put it in the description on the replay. So you can learn more, get on the wait list. It's not available for sale right now, but it's coming up soon. Get on the wait list and you can get her form that she uses at vendor events literally right now. Yep. So um, some of the things that I'm including, because I know somebody asked about um, what forms do you use for enrollments or, or like uh, the flyers and things like that. Um, and so one of the things that I've done is I've got one that I'm including. I'll show, I'll show and tell it. Um, this one will, is free. And the cool thing is, is it's got every single starter bundle that's current right now. There's room at the bottom and it's a digital form. So you can add your own QR code. You can add um, your own uh, contact information on the bottom. There's room for all of that. Um, and this form, this is, this is soup to nuts what they need. Um, but then I uh, like the, the woman who made these, who's, she's amazing. Um, she's got a whole collection. So if you love the CBD and you have a CBD story, she's got a flyer for that. If you've got, you know, pets and you're featuring pets at an event, she's got a flyer for that. If, if Ningxia is your main story, she's got a flyer for that. So like, this is the, like, based on the way that I do it, which is oils focused first, um, then this one is obviously going to work, but it's also going to showcase some of them, you know, that if you have these other stories and you feel like I'm going to get a lot of people started with this other starter bundle, then by all means, like use those other forms. So she's going to give us a discount code, um, that will be part of that, uh, for all of her, um, all of her things. Um, somebody asked about the tablecloth and the company that I've gotten the tablecloth from, um, is also willing to give a coupon code for us too. So that will be, um, housed in there as well. Um, and then, like I said, there's a, there's a product listing, with links to um, to order and um, and the thing is is with a with a total of like here's what it would be if you just went all out all in right away, verse and you know most of us including myself need to prioritize. So what's going to make the biggest visual impact? What's going to make the biggest um, long term impact with connecting with them? Can I get away with just a plain colored tablecloth? You know if and it doesn't have to be black, like go with what makes you happy. I don't recommend white because they're going to get dirty. Um, but you know, like if you're, if you like the neutrals and the, you know, or the, the, um, pastels go with that, um, make it you at that booth. Um, cause that's what they're buying and you're going to attract a different audience and that's amazing. So, um, so you're going to get links to the things that I bought, but you might, you might shift some of it, but you'll kind of have a sense of what will this cost? How much should I budget for now? How much can I budget for, you know, after the first few events, things like that, um, and make, make your own priorities from it. Um, I have a checklist for the day of, so you know that you've got your enrollment forms, your card reader, if you need it, um, you know, your cash, because I've forgotten that so many times <laughs> so that I can give people change. Um, and I'm running to go, you know, like buy a drink with a, you know, a bigger bill or something like that and trying to figure out how to make change for things. Um, snacks, water, you know, things like that, because you could be standing out there for long periods of time. We'll talk about the, what if I can't stand for long periods of time? Are there some hacks to that? Um, ways to make this work, um, different ways to, to visually enhance your, um, your event and things like that. Um, <clears throat> you scroll down. Cause I want to like, I want to make sure I don't miss any points. And then Ashley is building us some, we're going to talk about scripts and exactly what we say, the stories to use, um, that sequencing that I told you about, 
um, what to say to them afterwards um, and it, like things that you can do for follow-ups, how to take this and then build it into um, in-home classes too. So now, because you're gathering more people to connect with, right? Um, using campaigns for new members that get started, using campaigns for people that you meet when you're right there. Um, some special bonus tips we'll talk about. Um, you're going to get some longer term follow up strategies. How do you reconnect with people you met five years ago at an event or two years ago? Um, there's a mystery host enrollment form that we've got. There's a starter bundle flyer. Um, uh, like we, like I said, with, with all those collections, um, the coupon codes, I'm making sure I covered everything and the banner. So, um, I'm going to actually include for you the, the design for that banner. So, um, and where to get the link, uh, to, you know, um, to have that printed. Now, the cool thing is the banner that I got is actually double-sided. So, um, so sometimes they'll be able to see like from the street side, oh, look, there's a young living event, things like that. Um, and that can be really nice too. So awesome. You guys, so head into the chat, click that link. Uh, there's nothing to buy today. Uh, go nope. grab her young living sign up form that you can use at your events. Uh, and get on the list to be notified for when this launches. It's going to launch within the next two weeks. You're going to be able to go in and get it. It's going to be priced very affordably. And by the way, if you have a large team or you want to try to coordinate with a large team, bulk pricing, you can as well get in touch. Uh, of course, you want to sign up there. You're going to get an email from Jill and you can be in touch there. So if you are a leader and you would like to have your team participate uh, in this boot camp, get everybody into doing vendor events going into the end of the year. Make sure you use this link, share this link with your leaders, and you guys can uh, get access to this. And Jill's holding nothing back in here. I've already seen the entire outline for this, and I wish we could cover everything in one call, but you guys, it's <laughs> we got to spread it out. <laughs> and, and there's steps you've got to take, right? Like one thing at a time. And so uh, what this will look like uh, once we launch this is going to be, uh, it's over four weeks, right? Uh, with yep. live calls. We're doing it fast because I want you to be able to go and do this as quickly as possible um, and set up that like within the first couple of weeks, um, within the first week, you've already registered for an event if you haven't already. Um, and by the second week, you're definitely feeling comfortable that you have what you need to do this and that you can um, you can go ahead and go and do the event and you know what to say and things like that. And then the second half of the event uh, of the course is going to be geared towards the follow-up, towards the building the landing pages and things like that. Uh, because if nothing else, you're going to print out a paper form, you're going to have them fill it out and you're going to tackle it later. So uh, because time is of the essence, um, there's a contest to win and there are um, events that will be kind of wrapping up for the year um, around the end of December. And they're like, um, yeah, they're like, they're almost every weekend. And so there's huge opportunities um, to build. And here's what, something I'm going to tell you. Um, I was thinking about this just yesterday. I had a couple conversations with some of the leaders on my team and I had to wrap up the phone call with one of them. Who's a Royal crown diamond because she was going to a vendor event. So the, like, it doesn't matter what your rank is. This is still the dribble pass shoot of what we do. This is basic level things, right? So she's still building this way. My diamond that I talk to, you know, fairly often, same thing. This is how she built her in-home classes is through vendor events and, um, and connecting with people in person. And then, um, you know, the platinum, same thing. They're all doing vendor events. Um, and so they've taught me what they've done um, and, uh, and that's what I've applied and tested and, you know, some of the things tried and true really worked for me and some of them didn't. And that might be the same thing for you. The other thing that's so special, if you're still kind of like, I'm not sure if I can do this about vendor events is there is nothing more amazing than being there and witnessing somebody's first anointing of themselves. So when they take that oil and you go here, try it, like put it on your neck, put it wherever, you know, try it out. And they go, oh, wow. You know, um, you just changed their life. That's a really big deal. So um, mm. we will talk, Kathy, about 
um, where to find vendor events and um, how to do that even when you don't have Facebook, because I don't. <laughs> um, it's possible. Uh, I love it. Camilla's a, a product of a vendor booth at a conference. Absolutely. Fantastic. Guys, we have some Q&A that I want to get into. I want to make sure you guys' questions are heard and we can answer them to the best of our abilities. If you ask questions about things like the tablecloth and the banner, uh, those, of course, are things that Jill is going to be going into in great detail in the boot camp once it launches, including specific links to literally where she goes, the designs she used, the and coupon codes from the people that she bought her stuff from. Like, it is, like, there's nothing held back. There's nothing more to buy here. Like, it is literally, if you want to get in on this, get on the wait list. Uh, it's going to cost less than two bottles of Ningxia when you get started. <laughs> this is going to be super affordable. And um, and because we we want to see you guys doing this, right? And, and just really running with this and seeing great success with it, as Jill has seen and as so many for decades in this company have seen by doing this a right and smart way that's easy for you to follow. So uh, Beth asked about the QR code on the products. Those are going to a page on your Good Oiling site, right? So you're not creating individual um, QR codes to go on the top of each one of those oils or on top of the thieves, oh, right? Yeah, you can do it that way. On those, I actually do have it so that they could actually scan it and go directly to the Young Living site. But yes, you can go to a sales page on your Young Living site. Um, and actually, that would be a great way to do it with this one. Um, so you have a little bit more of a description of what each of them um, gives and why it's a great value and things like that, because this is only one page. Um, so this one would be a great one to, to add a directly to your own young living or your own page, uh, before it goes to young living, especially. So, um, you know, and it can point to, and here's where the events are and things like that too. So there's a lot that can be done. Um, and what's fun is with get oiling, I, I keep refining my own strategy too. So, um, getting better at, well, what if I could make this work a little better too, so, um, so the Q and A's are like, they're huge. I'm so excited to find out what the questions are and what are, what are you missing in your own, like in the vendor events you have done or what's holding you back from doing them. Um, I thought I was the last person to the game seven years ago when I, I, <laughs> I really thought that I, I was so behind the times and, and I can't believe I didn't know this about young living everybody else that I like in the circles that I ran with seemed like they already knew this stuff. And then I went out into the public in no, and they were like, what is this stuff? And I was like, Whoa, I have, there's, there are 8 million pe billion people on this planet. Like there's plenty of room for all of us to be doing vendor events. I can't get to all of them. And yes, mm -hmm. Camilla, I do these events alone. Typically, sometimes my husband will show up with the kids for a moment so I can go to the bathroom but most of the time I'm all by myself. So, um, yeah. All right. Uh, really great question. If we could just touch on this briefly, how do you handle a crowd so you don't miss anyone? So if you have just a buzz around your table, your typical like ideal is you're having this intimate conversation, smelling one oil at a time. Like, what does it look like to feel the group? Yeah. Um, so that it doesn't happen often. Um, usually because the size of the events, I try to stay right around, I'll tell you, I try to stay around the $50 a mark for, um, for the event. If it's a one day, uh, event, unless it's longer or there's nothing else going on and things like that. But I have done some that were significantly more than that. And a lot more people walked by my booth and I couldn't keep up with them all, you know? And so at that point, my focus is on that enter to win form. So, um, and, uh, so what I did is I was like, enter to win. I'm giving away this. I love using Zyto, um, for that or I Toby, um, and, but I use it as a point to get back together with them in person because in-person connections matter so much. And so I would pick up the phone and call all of those people who won, which is most of them. And, um, and I would actually, um, uh, like let them know they won and let's schedule a time to get together for your prize. Um, and, and now I get probably about another hour of time to sit down with them. And so, uh, back in 2019, I won the Kona challenge, um, by, by doing that. And one of the things was I had done a much larger event, gathered contact information from people and met up with them later to give them their prize and to re-engage with them about the starter bundle and help them get started at that point. 
So, um, so the, the, uh, if you don't have time to show them the entire starter bundle at that point and walk them through it, which a lot of times, if there are a lot of people, I'll just hand them all the bottles and like make them pass it around. Like it's a class. And then, um, but if it's, if it's getting to the point where it's too big, then I'm like, here, fill this out here, fill this out. Um, and, and then I'm following up with them later and, um, and re-engaging with them and sitting down with them one-on-one -on -one and, and doing a connect in to connection. Um, so there's, there's a few questions Liz asked here. about the prizes. Oh, yeah, yeah, go ahead. So Liz asked about the prize. Um, I don't give them the prize at the event. I do it later. Um, but yes, I do show them. And, um, so, cause typically what I'll give away is a diffuser necklace and then the biofeedback scan. And so the value of what I'm giving away ends up being like $75, um, because I, I, you know, because my time is a value. Um, but, uh, but I can give it away pretty freely because my, the cost on it, um, outside of the time is, um, is very minimal. So yeah. Awesome. Post contact. So, really, yes. So many great uh, questions here. There are a couple about, um, the products that you use and feature. Uh, I know you get into this more in the bootcamp content. Uh, so guys, make sure that you're on the, uh, the list here to get notified for when it launches. Uh, but I mean, you're really, you're working with what you have, right? You're focused, you're personally focusing on the kit, but you could do this with any product, right? right. Supplements, yeah. whatever. Yeah. Yeah. So you can do the same. If, if Nangsha is your baby and that totally radically changed your life, people are going to want to hear that story and they're going to buy what you bought. So, um, they're going to, they're going to do what you did first. So it's a really fantastic place to start. Now, if it wasn't that that necessarily changed your life, which I don't know how that would be the possibility, um, then um, focus on what did and what the purchase was that really did transform it. Um, the bundles are obviously the way to to do that. Um, I I personally carry everything in the premium starter bundle in my purse with me everywhere I go. Um, on the outside, it's it's a loud purse. Um, <laughs> but, but what it does is it gathers attention. I've had people sign up with me at target and things like that. Um, and then I know I have everything with me. Um, but it also means that when I'm taking my kids to the gym and one of them trips on the way out, there's, I don't have my purse with me, but yes, you can see it later. Um, I can, I can put an, the oil on their knee or whatever it is. So, <laughs> um, but, uh, yeah, the, like, when we live this in a more out loud way, then now the, the other part of this is I didn't feel as comfortable, especially initially just going to my warm market and being like, Hey, would you come to a class? Things like that. Like I said, I had moved really early and then again, had moved and, um, I did a little bit of that, but I wanted to continue to grow whether I got hesitation from them or not. Um, and, and I love, um, I don't remember who it was. Somebody in here shared a story of somebody's like life-changing event that happened from a drop of oil at a farmer's market or a vendor event. And um, those moments make me feel more empowered to share it with somebody else because I saw, I saw something happen, you know, with, uh, with a person who's, I've had a similar experience to that one and it's amazing what a difference it makes. So um, yeah, we want to be like, your oils are to give like the, that, that, that purse full of oils is for me to put drops on as many people as I possibly can. So, and vendor events are an amazing way to do it. Um, I love it. put so a copy of the enrollment form in your purse now so that you can enroll people anywhere you're at, whether you have Wi-Fi or not camping, <laughs> you can fill out a form. So and that is what you're getting for free when you go to the link in the chat right now. So you get that, yeah. event, that, um, that, um, form and you're going to have that on hand all the time. Like Jill just mentioned, and you can enroll anybody anytime. And if you've got an oily purse, <laughs> then you, you can just do the same thing that Jill shared with you today, take out the oil, put it under their nose, get them started with that. And of course, uh, you can join us here in a couple of weeks for the live boot camp. Uh, so you can go through all of this, get every one of these little questions answered. All these questions that I see here in the Q&A, a lot of this is going to be covered in detail uh, inside the course. And there will be live sessions for Q&A that are really targeted. I want to make sure that we are honoring the time of folks who signed up for live reviews and uh, and one-on-one -on -one work one -on -one work today. So um, Jill, if you are able to maybe in the Q&A, um, 
if you're able to type answers to any of the questions that you're able to. Uh, guys, make sure if you have questions for Jill, you pop those into the Q&A there. Um, I am going to pretty please bring out, um, let me see, Caroline, uh, you had signed up for a live work review today. I'm going to bring you out to chat. And, uh, and then Carol, I have you down as well. And I'll bring you out after we chat with Caroline. Hey, Caroline, can uh, what can we help you with today? You do appear to be muted. Let me see. Are you are you able to come out in chat? I'm going to go ahead and um, here we go. It's, it looks like you're raising your hand. Um, if you look down in the lower left hand corner, Caroline, of your Zoom screen, there is a mute a little microphone that, that should be crossed out. If you click that, it will unmute you. Are you able to do that? And do let me know if you wanna maybe, okay, you can't at the moment, got you. Okay, that's okay, um, we can, bring you out at another point when you're ready. Carol Burkaw, you had signed up for a review as well today. I uh, want to make sure that we have some time for you guys who sign up for this. There's is an opportunity that's open every week. You can go to getoiling.com slash website review if you'd like to sign up for one of these slots. Carol, um, are you able to unmute? Hey there, can you hear me? Hi, yes. How's it going? going i only All see right. the okay you're going in and out and i'm losing you and i'm absolutely in a panic that i'm going to lose you right when i'm finally here <laughs> <laughs> well ho hopefully we hang on here so um, how, how can we help okay so my website i don't know how but i need help you looking at it because this is a long time in coming and i've been working really hard um i can't i don't see a video so it's just my name up there i don't mm-hmm that's okay. okay. I can I can share screen and look at your website. We can do that together if yes, that works. That would be so great because at first I knew nothing and then I've slowly painstakingly been trying to learn. And let me just give you like a two second background while you try to pull me up. So what I'm looking for help today is a therapist and a certified health coach and a young living person. And I'm combining all of them for the first time. <laughs> and so my website is going to do all those things. Okay. So okay. Um, I spoke with one of your people. Um, I can't remember her name. I want to say, is it Janice? Jessica? And she sent me, Jessica, she see that home button right there? Mm -hmm. He sent me a template. And this is what I did. My colors are obviously blue and turquoise. And a girlfriend of mine made that beautiful logo up there, which I'm super excited about. Nice. So this, so my first question is a home page. I'm trying to understand. I know a landing page, like if I send someone to a landing page, but my landing page is like I haven't worked on that. This is the only thing I've worked on. Can my home page be a landing page? I guess is the first question. And then if so. Where's all the stuff at the top that you usually see on a website? It just says opportunity, contact me, place an order. Are there tabs? Like how do people go and explore different places? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Let's get into this. So uh, first, <laughs> great job. Great job <laughs> editing this template. I love the blue and turquoise. This is also gorgeous. I would recommend if you are going to be using... Uh, at all any of the built-in themes with Get Oiling, which I recommend that you do, uh, see if you can uh, get a, um, a transparent background version of this. You see how it's white here, um, yeah. this image? If you can get that with a transparent background, it's gonna look nicer on the built-in themes, obviously on, on your website pages, uh, it's gonna look fine. So um, do you need a landing page uh, when you have a home page? Uh, it is good to have a dedicated landing page if you have a funnel created, if you have a free thing that you're giving away. But this template 
that you got uh, is actually, uh, it, it's already serving that function for you. So a landing page is where you send somebody to do a thing, specifically to put in their name and an email in order to get a free thing from you. And what you're doing is you're giving away these five simple steps to relieve your back pain. Now, if you haven't created that yet, see, this is actually, you've got one here, this uh, five steps to healthier living. If you just kept this as five steps to healthier living, this is already a functioning funnel. This is built in. Right. Using I like that. The, and, and I don't mind it, but I don't know how to put my five steps to, Okay. <laughs> I really yeah, need nothing. <laughs> sure. Sure. So, so really simply what we're going to do here is in this page that, uh, that you've created under leads, you're going to maybe have an image here that's talking about uh, your five steps uh, to relieving back pain. You're going to change the words here to reflect that as well. And then whatever your campaign is that gives that thing away is what's going to connect here. And then it's this is already going to be going to a confirmation page, um, which you may want to modify. Yeah, maybe maybe let's swap out an image of you here just to get this finished. Here we go. There we go. So that's ready. Um, yeah. So basically what you're going to do is, uh, do, do you know, do you have a campaign that you've created yet? Like an email sequence that would go out after no. someone? <laughs> no. What you okay. see is what I've done and all I can do. <laughs> hey, that's, that's what you've done so far and you've done a great job. So here's what I want you to do. Have you created this five steps already? Is it a PDF or something like that? Um, yes. Okay. Somewhere. It doesn't have a cover. Do I need a cover? No, it does. It's okay if it doesn't have a cover. That's totally okay. fine. Everything is a work in progress, always. Period. Yes, I see period. that. But I couldn't keep <laughs> waiting to get started. Like I'm marketing. Exactly. Like I'm going now, and I just want one page that works with one campaign. <laughs> Fantastic. All right. So if we go here to campaigns, um, you're going to create a campaign, and I'll just go ahead and create one for you. This is five steps to relieve back pain. Right. So if that's the title of it, that's the title uh, that is going to be email preferred. We're going to create the campaign. And then basically what you're going to do is you're going to go to write new message. You're going to say, hey, to their first name. Here's your guide. Right. And so this is where you write your message. then link to the PDF. So what you're gonna do here, and we have videos that show this, we actually also have, if you go right here and you search PDF, it, there's a, actually a, an article that'll walk you through how to do it while you're still on the screen here. Um, so you're gonna, you're gonna upload that. And I kind of wonder if it's maybe, nope, don't have that yet. No. I so once it's it. in here, you'd be able to add it. Uh, now, okay. this campaign is what you're going to connect on your homepage. So let's just save and refresh this. And how do you connect it? How do you connect it yeah, yes. So, well, so the button here is actually, let's, let's look at the button. The button here has this hashtag lead. That means okay. it's going to pop up the lead form on the page. So um, so you don't have to do anything with that, but what the lead form looks like, see if we look at a preview here and we click this button, you'll see that this is how it connects, right? So they put their name, email, and phone in. It's gonna go to that confirmation page that we already quickly edited. Um, and then we also, of course, want it to start sending them messages, including the first message that says, uh, here's your guide, the one that we just created. So that's how it connects. It's all here, it's already here. Um, so if we go into lead settings, which is right here, this is where you're going to want to go to, you know, delete this image. If you, if you want to delete it, add an image, if you want to add it, um, obviously change the verbiage here because this, um, you know, may not be exactly what you want to say, but then down here, that campaign, and this is the five steps to relieve back pain, that's going to start sending out to them. And we want to call them a lead when they do in our system and we want to know that they got the five steps to relieve back pain lead magnet, right? So right. once you edit that campaign, this is ready. 
Okay. Since, all right. Since I'm also doing young living, including like, I might even do vendor events, you know, for young living too, separately from, yeah, look at that before we go this bottom half. So these yeah. are like the three things that I do. So there's, you can hire me as a health coach. You can hire me as a physical therapist if you live in Florida and you can learn about young living oils and products. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that's where I got those three. Got you. On. So there's actually a really great template that you'll find in the brand, my business workshop, which is free because you're a good oiling member. If you go down here to your account settings, and I'm going to go ahead and opt you in for this uh, since we're mm -hmm. here in the brand, my business workshop, I'm going to sign you up for it. And uh, once you're in, I'll go ahead and just sign me in. You can obviously sign yourself in. You're going to get an email if you've never gone into our uh, member area before. So you're going to see Brand My Business Workshop. And inside of here, we have a page that's called Why Young Living. And it's in the curriculum. I actually show you just step by step. And I talk about what goes on to your homepage as well. Um, and, you know, some of the pre-work that you might want to do to set up how you share Young Living. Oh, that's uh, awesome. And yeah, and, and that homepage that you got from Jessica is actually one uh, that is included here. So there is a resource bundle in here. You're going to be able to get that Why Young Living page. Um, but that Why Young Living page is actually going to uh, connect to all of your built-in uh, themes with Get Oiling. So all you have to do on that page is talk about why you chose Young Living. And, um, and, and of course, then they can go and explore the healthy homes theme or the pets theme or the skincare theme, et cetera. And those are all different pages then, correct? That are already made in Get Oiling. So they're built-in themes. So, you know, when you sign up for Get Oiling, you can have healthy homes, you can have body systems, you can have basic oils, depending on the market that you're in. Uh, so that is going to show all of those different routes where if somebody wanted to learn about babies, they, they click it and it goes to the Get Oiling built-in theme, which looks like it's just a beautiful page that you designed on your website, which it, it is a beautiful page on your website. It just came with Get Oiling when you got mm -hmm. started. So that's that's sort of the the easy route, and I show you in the brand my business workshop or brand yeah, that's, yeah. okay. I show you question, how to set that up. The the one where my my graphic artist she was really having a lot of trouble making that um, logo as a transparent. So you say we can do that on Get Oiling. So you would be it was on so Canva. In, yeah. So in Canva, you you're just basically going to go to the file in Canva. And then when you download the file, choose transparent background. And that's the image that you want to upload to the logo part of your website, which let me get back over here. And that's going to be over here under customize my site. This right here, you would just swap this out with the one that has the transparent background. Okay. I thought maybe she knew that, but okay, great, great, great. Okay. So you can just tell me we can't do it now. I know we don't have time, but I also want to put in something like Calendly. Where would yeah. I put that? Yeah. So what I would do with that, and we actually have um, multiple places on our uh, YouTube channel, um, just different ways you can integrate stuff like that. Um, but basically what I would do here is, um, would you be using it as like a consult, like somebody, um, you know, yeah, they want to set form. up a, a, a meeting with me, like a 15 minute free to figure out if I'm, you know, okay. whatever, or I can do Zyto, whatever, you know, it'll Perfect. be a lot of things. Got you. Yeah. So, so what you would do is you would go to, uh, in your Calendly, I'll show you real quick. It's, it's, it's actually really fast and easy. <clears throat> You're going to go into your, um, into your Calendly. Actually have a link right there. You're going to go to your event in Calendly. This assumes you already have it. Um, you're going to go to the share button right here. You're going to add it to website and inline embed it. And then you're going to copy the code. And then in your Get Oiling, you're going to go to pages. You would create a page. Uh, or in this case, I mean, you, you could, of course, upgrade. Sounds like you want a lot more pages. You might want to consider upgrading, uh, but you could always just send them to the, the Calendly link, right? So instead of embedding, uh, which is what I typically recommend, you could simply copy the link and maybe send that link via email after somebody fills out a form on your website that's talking about um, 
you know, getting started with, um, you know, their, their first 15 minute session with you or something like that. Uh, so mm -hmm. what you would do in that case uh, is you would have, oh, wait, you have a white. Yeah, I don't even know what all those things are. I oh, have no, to... you've, you already have this. This is the thing I was telling you about. Uh, this is so all you need to do is edit this. <laughs> so don't claim the template if you go into the brand my business workshop. So this is okay. the, these are all of those different. Um, what was the name of that? What was the name of that? This uh, they're all BMBW are what the name M BMBW BMBW. Yep. BMBW. And okay. so you yeah, actually, I don't, need... I don't I think, think you need you put that in there for me. It must have been. Okay. Yeah. So we can actually get rid of this confirmation page Good, can you... because, because you already have one and I'll show I was afraid you to delete anything, honestly, because <laughs> yeah, you're, just... you're fine. And you've got two uh, confirmation pages here. So we'll delete one of those as well. And we'll just make sure that this is the correct one. It is not. So this is that. Okay. I'm going to swap this out for your picture so that this is still good. Um, and so, yeah, you just use this confirmation page for anything. Um, so this is confirmation. We'll save it. Perfect. So um, let's go create a page. And this one will be, and I'll just show you how I would do it. You're obviously, I'm not going to save my own calendar to your site, uh, sure. but you would create a new page. Uh, you would go uh, just like the one column, no header is fine. And then I actually like to use, and just a reminder, we're going to share, add to website, inline embed copy the code, and then come back over here and just pretend you're putting a video in. So go to embed code and then paste the code and use it. Now it's not always gonna show up right away, but once you hit done, it will. Right? Cool. And so then you would just name this 15 minutes uh, with Carol or something like that. And I would definitely recommend putting this on the other side of a, a form where somebody puts in, uh, you know, their name, their contact info, and what they're interested in talking with you about. Or you could use this after a paid page or something like that, where somebody puts in their information and pays for a Zyto scan. Uh, then this would go on the other side if that's where you send them after they fill out a form. That's how I would recommend using um, a page like this. Sure. Great okay. work. <laughs> Thank you. I had to have something to bring to you, but honestly, it wasn't much and uh, I have a lot to learn. So, okay, I'll take that course. That'll be awesome. Awesome. Yeah. Don't discount your hard work. You've done amazing work so far <laughs> and there's you. always more to do. So give yourself grace for what you've done. Okay. Thanks. Thanks for coming out. So many, so many fantastic questions here today. Um, I'm so grateful, Jill, for you coming out and sharing this and making this available to the community. Krishanda, um, can you maybe shoot an email over to our team about that integration? Um, and, uh, and, and we can work with you where that is concerned. We do actually have um, that available, which is exciting. Um, so uh, Jill, I think is still busy just typing away, <laughs> answering questions. So um, guys, vendor, what vibrant vendor events boot camp? Going to launch this in a couple weeks. Live calls, soup to nuts, everything, and you get to learn from somebody who is actively doing this and doing it so well that she's qualifying for vacations with this. Right? <laughs> are you in or are you in? So thank you guys for being here. Um, and we will be back here next week. Jill, uh, do you have any closing thoughts? Uh, anything else you want to say before we go? I'm excited. I'm so excited. I wish we could start tomorrow, but um, we're going to wait a minute so that you guys can share with a handful of other people and make sure that um, those in your teams that um, have been curious get a chance to um, watch this and, um, and join us too. So yeah. Um, yeah. So I'm looking forward to it. We're going to have a lot of fun. Absolutely. I am so looking forward to this team. Everybody is so looking forward to this, seeing you guys run your business and grow with this, having that transformative experience with people in person and importantly, knowing what to do at every step of the way, because this putting yourself out into the world with just your body and a, and a thing of oils can feel overwhelming. And, you know, saying, oh, I want to get into vendor events could feel like you're jumping off the deep end, right? Into the deep end. And you don't have to 
uh, feel and you that don't way. have to know everything to start. Yes. You don't have to know everything to start. So yep. it's actually a, the most amazing school is talking to people and learning with them. Absolutely. Awesome. So you guys make sure you click the link in the description below in the YouTube video. Uh, you get that link in the chat, reach out to us if you can't find it. Uh, and of course, um, be on the lookout for more uh, from Jill. And we'll, we'll of course, uh, let everyone know uh, when this goes live as well. Uh, invite your teams, invite your friends. Uh, we want to see you guys all doing this together. And uh, yeah, thank you again, Jill, so much. And uh, we'll be excited to see you guys again next week. Take care.